Gemma Arterton looked every inch the 60s beauty queen on the set of her new Sky original show on Thursday. The new beehive hair clad and former Bond girl, 35, donned the iconic 60s coiffure while filming nightclub scenes at an old bank vault in Liverpool, for the adaptation of Nick Hornby's best-selling novel Funny Girl. The actress, who plays charismatic Barbara Parker aka Miss Blackpool in the currently unnamed series, was seen making her way to a vintage-style car while surrounded by her co-stars and crew on set, dressed in in a chic white coat and silk frock. Gemma's makeup was reminiscent of the 60s and much heavier than her usual look, consisting of a statement eyeshadow, coal eyeliner and a bold lipstick. Her co-stars and extras in the series were seen making their way to the set, protecting their voluminous hairstyles with nets amid the wet and gloomy weather. Joining Gemma in the Blackpool-based miniseries will be Rupert Everett as Barbara's agent Brian DeBecknam, David Threlfall as her father George, and Tom Bateman as dangerously charming actor Clive. Fans will have to wait until next year to witness this spectacle where Barbara finds her comic voice in a male-dominated world. Having upped sticks in order to call London her home. The leading lady is offered a part in a groundbreaking new sitcom which will have an impact on British comedy for decades to come. Gemma said, It's a heartwarming story of an ambitious woman with a dream of making people laugh, it's going to be something special. It's an honor to be working with such an incredible team and be reunited with my first ever director, Oliver Parker. Also joining the cast is Emily Bevins, Leo Bill, and Matthew Beard, alongside previously announced Claire Hope Hashidi, Arsha Ali, and Alexa Davis. While Gemma, who played Strawberry Fields in 2008's Quantum of Solace, is certainly excited about playing Barbara, last year she said of her Bond role that she would not pick a similar role for herself anymore. The actress, from Kent, who had her big break when she was 21 with the Bond movie starring Daniel Craig, said her character didn't have much to do in the movie. Speaking to The Telegraph, Gemma, who has started her own production company, Rebel Park, which aims to involve women in all aspects of filmmaking, said, I know I wouldn't choose a role like that now. Because she was funny and she was sweet, but she didn't really have anything to do, or a backstory. Despite that, Gemma says she's still grateful to Quantum's producer Barbara Broccoli and for the doors the Bond franchise has since opened for her. In the 2008 movie, Strawberry Fields was an intelligence operative working at the British consulate in Bolivia, charged with sending Bond back to London. She was the second Bond girl in the movie after Olga Korylenko's Camille Montes and became a romantic interest for Bone shortly after being introduced. Speaking of how her career has evolved since her Bond days, Gemma says she now feels more confident, and would happily challenge any uncomfortable on-set requests. She gave the specific example of unplanned intimate scenes that may not have been in a script. She said, you're thinking, hang on, that's not in the script, and you haven't even spoken to me about that. And at that point you're in front of all the crew and under pressure, when you should have dialogue way before that where you get asked, are you cool with this, she went on. She admitted she doesn't mind if she seems a bit difficult now that she has an established career, whereas a younger version of herself wouldn't have wanted to challenge it. Gemma went on to say she didn't experience sexism until she started working in the movie industry, adding that she's been a bit naive. The Sky original comedy drama will be available on Sky Max and streaming service now in 2022.